Hello and welcome to Zscript Fundamentals. In this series, we're going to learn how to do the basic C scripting for ZBrush. So, what is Zscript? Zscript is ZBrush built in scripting language. It provides a way to automate common or repetitive tasks as well as new fun add new functionality to ZBrush. It's the language behind Zscript recordings, tutorials, macros, and plugins. Zscript allows you to create plugins for ZBrush as well as add sub-palettes in your already existing menus with buttons that you have created. There are some limitations to Zscript and we will go over them later on in future videos. But one of them is that you cannot change the ZBrush interface. You cannot change any buttons that ZBrush already has. You cannot change the placement of buttons, sub-menus or menus of the ZBrush interface. You also can only have one Z script running at one time. You can't have parallel Z scripts running at the same time because one Z script will cancel out the other Z script. Now, what, what really is Z script? What are we talking about? If you ever recorded a macro, going up to macro, new macro, and then pressing some buttons, for example, let's duplicate these two, two times and let's move up two times and macro when you press end macro zbrush will ask you where you want to save that macro now if you want to save that macro under your macros sub palette you can save it here in misc under macros but i'm going to save it somewhere else initially this will save two files on my folder a psd file and a text file Let's open up this text file in my notepad. So a macro is actually a Zscript file. And what when you record a macro, you create a Zscript. And as you can see here, we have a comment. We have a button that starts here and ends here. And we have the actions that we created for this macro. So I pressed Subtool Duplicate twice and I pressed subtool select up twice. Now if I do the same thing using the Zscript functionality, let me just delete these two tools. If I come to Zscript and I press record, and I duplicate this tool twice, move up twice, go to Zscript and recording, and I'll save it in the same place here. Now the Zscript already created a new, f a different file aside from my text file and my PSD file. This is a ZSC file, a Zscript file. This file is generated every time when you record the Zscript, like I just did, or the first time that you run your macro or a Zscript that you've written. This is the file that is most important. The text file is where you script and the Z SC file is the one that ZBrush will actually use to run your script. If I open this up in the, in the text editor, just like I did before, I get almost the exactly same thing, only this time there's a little, there's a small difference in the script here. Now let's load up both of these scripts in our ZBrush interface. Just delete these two tools. And the way you can do this is going by to Zscript, pressing load, and let's load our ZBrush macro first. Open that up, and if I press this, let me just pull this up here so you can see it. If I press this tutorial view, now I have a button here. Now because I run the macro, I now have a ZSC file with the same name as the text file. And this is this code right here. So the three interrogation points are the name of the macro. And after that, we have the pop-up text. So if I go back to ZBrush and I hover this, press to run this macro, macros can be aborted by pressing the ASCII key. So now if I press this button, as you can see, it duplicated my tool twice and it moved up twice. 
So if I look at the code, I have I press to subtool duplicate. If I go back into ZBrush and I hover duplicate and press control, I get a button path. As you can see there, button path to subtool duplicate. And if I do the same with this button here, the select up button, I get tool subtool select up for my button path. And that is exactly what's in the code that we're looking at. So tool subtool select up. And this follows a command called I press. So this command is just the same as pressing a button. This is one of the commands of this scripting, as well as I button, which is creating that button for us. We're going to look at a lot of commands from Z scripting. Now let's load up our Z script, the one that we recorded using this menu here. I'll press load, open my Z scripting recorded session. And now the other button is gone and I have a new button called play. Because you can only run one Z script at a time. This canceled out the other Z script. And this play button is right here. So we got the name, play, and we got the pop-up text when you hover the button, the button. This is just saying which configuration is used and the four buttons that we pressed, the same ones. So if I hover, here's a pop-up text. And if I press play, let me just delete this so we can see what happens. Same thing happens. So duplicate, duplicate, move up, move, select up, actually, select up. So these are the absolute basics of C scripting. We learned the I press command and the button. And I'm going to go through them in the next videos and explain better how they work. Don't forget to like this video if you want to see more videos like this. Subscribe, support me on Gumroad, and I'll see you in the next video.